Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Red Dead video. So I've had a lot of people saying they want to gain money fast and easy without having to glitch or even waiting around between glitches being discovered. First, this method will gain you a minimum of $90 and you will fill up on animal fat and gain around another 50 hunting on the way. Now, this will not gain you a ton of XP fast, but there's two videos in the description of this video right now and in the top right of this video on how to gain XP really fast. Also, I'll throw in another money method video in the description where you'll also earn a ton of money to go along with this one. Now, the reason I'm sharing two videos along with this is so when you're grinding these methods out, you can actually switch them up and go between the two of them so you're not constantly getting bored, you know, kind of just grinding the same thing over and over again. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump into the video. So go ahead and head right over to this area north of Blackwater to this location. It's right here by Brad's Crossing. You will catch largemouth bass here mainly, but you'll also catch some steelhead trout. All of these locations I am sharing with you are some of the locations I use because the fish bite within seconds every time you're casting out. And just here, you'll be able to make $20 off 10 largemouth bass. And as you go, you'll probably end up catching some steelhead trout because there is steelhead trout here as well. But no worries because the next location, we're gonna actually focus on steelhead trout. So any ones you catch here is gonna make the next stop even quicker. Now we're actually going to be visiting four locations and each location is maybe even 40, 45 seconds apart. So you're going to be able to knock these out pretty quick. So next, go ahead and just head north up the river and go right here by the V and the E in the Dakota River. One thing to point out is this area will get a ton of animal fat from the ducks. I recommend moving slowly up into this area and don't go running kind of crazy and end up spooking them off before they take off and fly away. Now also too, when they're clumped together like this, I would recommend just taking a stick of dynamite and just tossing it into the middle of them because you could probably knock out five to 10 of them right away and fill up on your animal fat really quick right here. Now, another thing I've actually discovered is probably about 50% of the time, if I go into my map and then come back into the game, they'll actually start spawning right here in this location. So that's something to kind of try out as you're going along. I would say at least 50% of the time I've had it to where they reappear every time I do that. Now with all these locations, go ahead and just step out into the river as far as you can until it says you cannot cast from here. This will shorten the time it takes to reel the fish in through the animation. Again, within a matter of seconds, the fish will bite with all these locations. Go ahead and just rotate from the left to the right. Sometimes even if you don't see them, go ahead and just cast out there anyway because they're sometimes just a little bit out of your sight. Now here with the steelhead trout, they pay more. You'll get $25 for just 10 of them. Now here in the other locations too, you can do this. If you want to, you can actually throw dynamite out into the water because it is shallow in most of these areas. And you can actually get poor condition fish that you can actually go above the 10 for each kind and pick up just that much more money. Now our third location is just north of where we're at right here. You actually just go right up here south of Caliban's seat. Here we basically do the same thing you've done in the past two spots. Of course, you'll catch 10 fish. It'll be 10 smallmouth bass here. They'll go for $20. Now, in this area, it's good to point out you can get a lot of pelts, meat, and feathers from other animals because the spawn rates are actually higher here than most of the other areas you're going to be fishing in. So just keep an eye out for that using eagle eye as you're going. And now this will be our fourth and final spot we're going to go to. Just go ahead and just head on around the river and go west. And at this location, you're gonna be end up catching 10 salmon for $25. Now, another good pointer for the animal fat is kind of craft as you go so you don't fill up and you can't carry more. And you kind of make sure you cover all the different types of ammos and stuff that can use explosives, especially if you have the pamphlets to cover them. So like I said, all these locations are gonna be really quick. You're not gonna spend a lot of time here. The fish bite really fast. Just keep an eye out for other animals. Like I said, you're gonna actually capitalize on a lot more money if you do so. Also in this video description, there'll be a link to where you can download this map that I've made. I recommend downloading it and keeping it on your phone or tablet as it'll come in handy if you wanna keep doing this method. Also too, for any daily challenges that might require you getting these fish or even ducks or anything else that you end up finding along the way. So let's just go ahead and just head north over to Valentine to the butcher and just add up some of the fish and stuff we got so I can kind of just show you what you end up with. So let's see what we got. These are $3 in poor condition salmon I threw some dynamite at. Here's $20 for the largemouth bass. And here's $25 for the steelhead trout. And $20 for the smallmouth bass. And $25 for the salmon. Now there's a lot of duck feathers, a whole lot of other stuff you saw in my satchel. I didn't want to point that out because you know that's all depending on how much you hunt. But as you can see, I had a ton of stuff in my satchel. But I just wanted to focus on the base part of the fish and then build on top of that. 
So as you can see, we made $90 in just fish, but I'd also probably made at least $40 to $60 in other pelts, feathers, and other fat and animals and stuff along the way. So I appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope it helps you guys out. If it did, I appreciate you if you like it and share it with your friends. Also to subscribe, click that notification bell. So anytime videos get uploaded, you get notified right away. As always guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.